Sickle cell patients often rely on bone marrow donors to help manage their disease. Well, now a new type of treatment that uses gene editing technology known as CRISPR is being described as a game changer. It was like one of those moments where like you're running, like almost like a marathon runner, and then you make it to one of those checkpoints that matter. Katie Hall has been on that marathon since her daughter KJ inherited the genetic condition known as sickle cell anemia, which commonly affects black patients. For years, King 5 has been following their journey with sickle cell and the advocacy work they do through Hall's foundation now on its 10th year. With the new therapy approved by the FDA in December, Katie and KJ can now dream of a future with Without pain. It means the difference of in the wintertime being able to go skiing and not thinking about, okay, we got to put on all these extra layers. It's the difference of going swimming in Washington State. It's never really hot here. That's why we bought a house down in Florida so that she could swim. You know what I mean? It, it, it makes the difference of so many things when you think about not having to worry about chronic pain. All possible now with the new treatment that uses CRISPR gene editing. They work essentially as a transplant. Dr. Kleber Fertrin is a hematologist at Fred Hutch Cancer Center. He calls the now approved gene therapy for sickle cell disease a game changer. Because it allows virtually any patient to have a donor because they don't need a match. They can, uh, they can get this treatment using their own stem cells and reduces the reliance on a donor match that can be difficult to find. Fertrin explains the treatment modifies sickle-shaped blood cells to maintain their normal round shape. So you would get their stem cells, you modify them genetically to fix the disease in a way, in different ways, uh, and then you perform a transplant of their own cells, but now modified so you can improve the disease. Instead, he calls the treatment transformative. Because in clinical practice, the way patients feel after this treatment, they will feel functionally better. They won't have the pain crisis anymore. It is an immense relief for Hall and her family. The fact that KJ is eight years old, and so she knows that now there is a gene editing therapy out there. Just imagine what it's gonna do for her mind and what she may do and what she may add to sickle cell. Hall says she'll be looking into ways the treatment can be affordable and accessible to patients. Fred Hutch will be among the centers in the Pacific Northwest to have access to these treatments, though it has yet to be announced when it will be available for patients. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.